Try to draw a map of the temporal bone from a superior view. And we're going to do this, we're going to start by first um, drawing a grid, a basic grid. Then we're going to find the foramen on our grid. And using the foramen as guides, we're going to be able to draw the outline of the temporal bone and then the structures within the temporal bone. So, I'm going to draw just the basic grid. This is going to be your 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4, and 5. Now imagine that the petrous portion of the temporal bone is going to be right in this area. So this triangle will be the posterior part and this triangle will be uh, the superior part. Okay, so at the apex of the petrous portion of the bone, you're going to have the foramen lacerum. Medial to that is going to be the posterior clinoid process. So we can imagine then that the anterior clinoid process would be here. Okay, now lateral to foramen lacerum is going to be foramen ovale, about like that. Um, lateral to and posterior to that will be foramen spinosum. We can put foramen rotundum right up here by the anterior clinoid. Okay, and a straight shot back from foramen ovale in the posterior portion here of the petrous bone, we're going to put the uh, internal auditory meatus. Okay, and directly under that is going to be the jugular foramen. We'll just put a little mark there for it. Okay, with those foramen kind of laid out, we can figure out the boundaries of the temporal bone. So starting at the apex, we're going to draw a line back, connect it to the jugular foramen, come around, the petrous portion of the bone goes up and over, and then it becomes the squamous portion, which comes around, comes down by a uh, foramen spinosum, comes lateral, well, medial to foramen ovale, and lateral to foramen lacerum, kind of has a little part that protrudes and then it comes up to the apex like that. So that's the basic outline of the temporal bone. And with that, now we can kind of lay in the nerves and the vessels. So the facial nerve comes from the brain stem, comes in crosses over the petrous ridge or under it and then you have the geniculate ganglion. It's going to branch off into the facial nerve here which at this point once it branches off from the geniculate ganglion the facial nerve is going to dive deep and medial it sends off the greater petrosal nerve. And it runs, it aims in between foramen lacerum and foramen ovale. And it's going to come out through the uh, facial hiatus. Okay, so just lateral then to the geniculate ganglion, we're going to have the superior semicircular canal, and that forms the arcuate eminence of the temporal bone. You'll have the posterior semicircular canal and then the lateral semicircular canal. And just medial then to the geniculate ganglion, you're going to have the cochlea. The middle meningeal artery is going to come from spin, uh, foramen spinosum. It's going to go horizontal for a short while and then it's going to go anterior and it branches. Also the root of the zygoma is going to be pretty much horizontal from foramen ovale at the edge of the 
temporal area, the temporal bone. And then from foramen, uh, the jugular foramen, we can go ahead and sketch in how the sigmoid sinus would come around. And up here at the very top is going to send off the superior petrosal sinus, and that's going to go along the petrous ridge. And there you have it, that is the temporal bone mapped out in a very simplistic view with a grid.